Hi, I'm Adal Manitonga, and over the past six weeks, my friends and I have comprised a list of ways for the Portland Public Schools to better serve their students. Our stories are just a few of the thousands in the Portland Public School System, the most diverse school district in Maine. This is a special school because it offers many different activities that Casco doesn't and that's really, that's, that really helps kids that like extracurricular activities, kids like, like myself who want to play sports and our school doesn't offer it at Casco. Me, myself, I live near here so whenever I just need some exercise or play soccer, I just walk up the hill and I usually find a lot of people coming from different schools playing soccer lacrosse, football, and it really bring, brings a community together. Like, there, this is a neighborhood, like, everybody comes out and plays. I'm like, Portland, it's like, it's located in a busy area and they don't have a field. So that would be, like, people that go to Portland would have to walk long ways to get to a field. But if you go to Deering, you can just, after school, you can just play in this field. Yeah, actually, this school resembles my school back in Africa because we had a soccer field, but not this huge, but at recess, just everybody would go and play a huge soccer game. It would always be intense competition, and it would just give us a break from school. And we also had outside basketball court, and just kept the kids busy for recess. Deering and Portland, both traditional and big schools, I think they're pretty similar because the way I see it, they're the same. When I come to a game, I don't usually, when I'm not participating in the sport, I don't usually watch the games, but one game I definitely want to watch is like Portland versus Darren because when you can feel it when you get here. There's rivalry, there's, it's very competitive, and both schools want to win badly, everybody's supporting them. It's really nice to see the competition and the whole community come together for just a sports event. This is home to Casco Bay High School and um, Pabs. Pabs is a really good um, thing to get into, especially in high school. There's all kind of high schools that come here, Portland Deering kids that come here and like take Pabs. Um, I could say for a fact that most of the kids that I hang out with say that Pabs is one of their favorite things to do throughout the week. Instead of sitting in classrooms like on your all your coming blocks, Pabs is like mostly hands on and most will go on to um, focus on these programs because who knows you might um, go to one of these programs at first and be like um, I just want to try it out and at the end of it you might just explore it more and more as you graduate through high school. I have been going to Portland High School for one year. I'm a freshman going to a sophomore. What made Portland High School special to me is that first of all we represent Bulldogs and Bulldogs is a really strong dog and it makes it special for me because I participate in some sports as football and wrestling. And Portland High School right now is one of the best at sports from all the Portland public schools. And I chose to come to Portland because it's like two minutes from my house. So one specific memory is when we won the basketball championship, that was really great like, to have as like, you're representing your school. Yeah. This recreation or this place, including the expo right next door, is uh, where most of the sports events usually happen. Um, this place is special because not only to me, but like I know for a lot of um, students because they use this place all year round. Like, and it's not even high schoolers; but it's mostly open to public. Um, they usually like um, neighborhood kids that come here, toss a ball around, maybe run around. Um, there is usually practices held here. This field keeps most of the high schools. Um, players involved into a sports and it keeps them like usually most of them it keeps them out of trouble. This place is definitely used by um, kids that live in the Deering area. It's used by kids who might not live in this area at all. One reason might be because it's well maintained throughout the years and it's a pretty good place to like train and do whatever your daily activities run. Here. 
I've been involved in Portland High School for six months now and I can tell that it's been great so far. So I'm born in DRC Congo, I moved to South Africa and then I've learned in South Africa my whole life and I can tell you that um, Portland High School is completely different from where I used to go because the Portland High School teachers, they work with the students and they help you understand what you don't understand, they help you get through your work and if I do have anything to tell them then I find it much easier to speak to them. Yeah, they're always with you. They guide you more, they teach you more, they help you more and they want you to, to be the best you can be. After school, the bell rings and then some choose to go home, some choose to come to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, that's when we can actually talk to each other, know how things are going with each other and um, I, it kind of makes me forget about everything that's been happening during the day. I came into um, America like six months ago, so I've been here for six months at the Boys and Girls Club. There's a library upstairs and some internet access. There's always a place downstairs with Brian and yeah. I mean, there's different age um, groups here. There's like, you know, two to three year olds to 17 year olds, 18 year olds, and we still learn from each other. And it's a very, yeah, it's a very fun place to be. The people here make this place very special to me. Well, a lot of things make this library special. But one thing is that people come together here and it really keeps them off the streets. And it also helps them with their homeworks and other things. I've been coming to the library since maybe 2013. Yeah, it's been a lot. It made me grow as a student because it gets me a quiet place to work and I can really work on my, on my homeworks and I can get the work done. One memory I had in this library is when I had really a lot of work to do and I just sat down and I got everything done and I was happy that day. What public schools can take away from the library is maybe just like giving personal space to students who need more space and a quiet place to learn and also like having group projects because it brings everybody together to work together. The third part is the, the lounge because you can just really chill and lay back from a long day with whatever you have to do. The library is a great place, keeps you off the streets, and it's great for you doing work and just getting to know people and it brings the community together. So right now we're at Riverton Park. It's an area where um, many people live and their kids come here and play basketball, sometimes all late at night. So it's a very nice place to be and to get to know each other. I know um, different kinds of people who live here. Some come from Sudan, some come from DRC Congo, Somali, some come from Asia as well. So it's a very diverse community as well. I feel like the reason why they're so close is because they have so many activities going around in um, the area and most people know each other here. So since we know each other, we can talk to each other and play games and it's very close to their houses so they can stay here till late just as long as their parents are around them. So what would um, Portland High School take from this place is to grow as um, a family because there's so many kids who do not know each other and I think it will make them feel a little bit more comfortable if they could um, gather um, barbecues and you know games and play together. Just the time where the, the community gets together and talks to each other, that will contribute to uh, getting a way to grow up together.